Hello Clash fans! Trample damage coming at you today from the comfort of my closet. Yes, I am sitting on the floor in my closet uh, with my iPad propped up on a little table that I have in here. It's like a coffee table. And I am going to show you how powerful hero equipment is. And I know what you're thinking, but trample damage, we already know how powerful hero equipment is. The Archer Queen has five great pieces of hero equipment that even when paired up with a level one Archer Queen are able to provide some pretty nasty results. We are going to show you that by having her battle a Town Hall 16. And in the old days, if you had a level 30 Archer Queen with her equipment attached to her, she would not have been able to take down a max Town Hall 15. So we are going to do is show you some replays here. That's from my Royal Champion video. We are going to kick things off with the Archer Queen Queen, a level one archer queen with the healer puppet and the frozen arrow and i wasn't really thinking about the math on this one but because of the frozen arrow reducing the speed of the town hall by 75 percent it's only dealing 75 damage per second which the unicorn and the self-healing on the queen alone would have been enough but you can see here the quick version that at no point does the town hall ever even get close to denting her hit points because the healers and the freeze are able to overcome its power so I said, all right, well, what if we do it without the healer puppet, since that makes it too easy? What if we just put the invisibility vial on her, which also adds no damage per second? That's one of the important things. So we're just like lower damage per second. The frozen arrow does pretty decent damage per second. All right, so the queen is staying relatively flat, which makes sense, right? Because the unicorn is healing 70 damage per second, and the queen has... Um, so she's taking 75 damage per second from the town hall. So she's really net only losing five hit points per second so that the frozen arrow is able to keep the town hall plenty in check. However, eventually the unicorn goes down. Her hit points start dipping pretty quickly, but she does manage to get the town hall down before she is knocked out. Now, as a quick comparison, the Archer Queen at a level 1 deals 136 damage per second with 580 hit points. A level 95 Queen deals 765 damage per second, so there's clearly a lot more damage that is being dealt. But when we look at her equipment, you know, the Frozen Arrow adds 168 damage per second, the Giant Arrow adds... 132 damage per second and the archer puppet adds 144 damage per second no added damage from the healer puppet no added damage from the invisibility vial in the regular attack but of course the massive amount of damage that she deals which we're going to wind up taking a look at that in just a second here so we can see that the queen even without the healer puppet is able to take it down but what happens when we send her in with the frozen arrow and the invisibility vial and say no unicorn just the phoenix so we're going to see how she does no unicorn is helping her out here she's not able to get that extra 70 damage per second healed by the unicorn and you can see here she's clearly going to lose this race so we trigger the ability and she pops that off and winds up taking down the town hall with the power of the phoenix and the frozen arrow i'm just kidding the phoenix did nothing but sit there bobbling like an egg behind her now here's a question what if instead one two three four is this the one here this is one of the same thing we have the invisibility vial along with the healer puppet so we do not have the frozen arrow to slow the town hall down but what if the lowest damage per second you know the healer puppet and the invisibility vial don't add to her damage per second but the invisibility vial of course gives her that massive 1700 damage per second we trigger that ability town hall goes down so any way that you would be using a level one archer queen and having her equipped with the invisibility vial that town hall is going to stand absolutely no chance whatsoever ah what happens though if we try the archer puppet and the giant arrow we can see already that the frozen arrow is going to do an amazing job of keeping the queen in the game one-on-one -on -one against the town hall and we know that the healer puppet is also going to keep her one-on-one -on -one in the game against the town hall and we know that the invisibility vial is going to allow her to nuke the town hall but what if we put the two abilities that do not actually have any of those really solid pieces so we have the queen, she's going at it. She says, here we go. And the unicorn is getting towards the crawl. Oh, fire the giant arrow. Ah, queen's done. Poof, she's gone. So yeah, giant arrow and archer puppet is not going to happen. Just can't do it. So that's with the unicorn on board. What if instead of doing it with the giant arrow and the unicorn, what if we try the archer puppet, the giant arrow, and the archer queen with the phoenix to give us an opportunity? Now, again, she starts getting torched right away. Giant arrow pops some damage, and she's going, and the phoenix is going to revive her, and she's got eight seconds, and the phoenix has eight seconds, and the queen goes down before the town hall, but the phoenix manages to take it down. 
Now we go ahead and we move on to, so the, I ended up letting the Phoenix run through that one pretty crazy. But so now here's a question. What about the frozen arrow with the archer puppet? So she, and we've got the unicorn back on her again, frozen arrow, slowing it down. We've got self healing from the unicorn, self healing from the archer queen, even though the unicorn is taking damage from the town hall between the unicorn and the, the town hall being slowed down by the frozen arrow, even without the benefit of the healer puppet, the archer queen is able to wind up going through using all that extra damage per second that she is picking up from the Archer Queen. Uh, if you're still watching, I really appreciate that. Make sure to check out all of my content. I have lots of fun content you can check out. Make sure that you're subscribed to me here and following me on YouTube and checking out my podcast, Inside Clash. So there's a last question. What if we have no pet whatsoever on the Queen and we have a max Frozen Arrow and a max Archer Puppet. So we do not get the heal from the healer. We do not get the incredible blast from the Invisibility Vial. We are just relying on the strength of the Frozen Arrow and no pet whatsoever. Little bit of hit point recovery that is going to come from the Archer Puppet. And so the Archer Queen is doing her thing and it is clear that she is starting to take an absolute massive amount of damage. And we say, let's go. We're going to go ahead and pop the Archer Queen with these. And look, she barely has enough. She makes it. She takes it down because a little bit of the health recovery that she gets from that Archer Puppet gives her enough to make it. I know that this is an unrealistic example because, of course, I have her positioned well away from the other defenses, but it shows very clearly how incredibly powerful these pieces of hero equipment are. Because if you think about it, a lot of town halls back before we had hero equipment, an archer queen that was maxed would still have a hard time against a couple of regular level archer towers from another town hall if you were not supporting her with a bunch of healers and some rage spells and free spells or invisibility spells because, you know, she's not exactly like the super toughest person around around there but between the healer puppet the invisibility vial and of course the frozen arrow those are three pieces of hero equipment that are able to keep the queen alive for a very long time or allow her to deal a massive amount of damage to take down the town hall uh, make sure to keep your eyes peeled for the really cool royal champion video that i'm going to be making comparing all the different versions of her hero equipment and showing a couple of different cool town hall layouts so stay tuned for that make sure you're subscribed of course i post a lot of stuff on reddit make sure you check me out there i post a lot of stuff on instagram reels and on tiktok and of course i already mentioned my favorite portion of my content creation is my podcast inside clash with trample damage make sure to drop a like below send it to a piece of uh, your clan and maybe share with your friends and family as well and we will check you guys out on the next video